Hey all, this is Joyce. This is my channel from This Is That Creations, where I inspire you to be original in all you do and just be you. Today I'm joining the very talented Teresa B. DIYs in a thrift flip collab. I'm thankful that she decided to join me. Thank you, thank you. Make sure to check out her channel. She does some amazing DIYs. Now let's get crafting. All right, guys, our first thrift flip DIY number one. So I found at the thrift store, uh, what do you call this? A magazine holder. It was $1.99. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Of course I picked it up. It has little scruffs and, you know, a little beat up. But I was like, mm, I see the beauty in this. So, of course, we're going to clean it up. I'm going to sand it down just to roughen it up to get it ready to paint. I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white. It went by really fast, so I'm telling you now. We're going to go ahead and coat this with two coats. Once those are dry, I got my little handy-dandy nail filer I love from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to distress this beauty up. You don't have to do this part. I prefer it. I like it. So you be you. With this dressing, guys, I just go with it. I go where I want to, what I'm feeling. That's the best for me. I have no rhyme or reason. So I suggest you do the same. If you don't want that much distressing, then don't do it. Now I'm going to take my little cute little broom and clean it off because, holy Lord, it made a lot of mess. But that didn't really work very well, so I had to wipe it down. So now I'm just going to go around the edges because it wasn't distressed enough for me. I just kind of go with it. Look at how cute that is. Just simple, but I love it. Now I got these transfers redesigned. Morning Glory, I think it's called. Super cute. I'll leave the link down below. The hardest part of these is deciding which ones you want to use. They're a small pack. So I'm using it on smalls, of course. You can use it on a big project, but I love having multiple uses. So I decided on this beauty, this flower. So this is kind of cottage core little bit with a little bit of farmhouse. I just like it. So whatever it is, I like it. Now the rub on, actually now, the small ones before, they come with a little tool, the little wood tool. You're just going to rub it on, and if it doesn't come up, lay it back down, rub, you know, all the fun stuff with the transfers. You've seen it before. These are just ideas what you can do with them. And then peel it up, and voila, look how cute. I absolutely love this. This is going in my new home, in my living room. I'm in love with it. All right, guys, thrift flip DIY number two. So I had this old like door, it was like a cabinet door. The piece was already missing. Of course I loved it. I got it for free, had it for a while, decided to use it. So it was already black. I love the color. You can paint it any color you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and what? I'm going to distress it. I do a little heavy on some spots, lighter in others. You can paint it one color and not distress if it's not your thing, but I like the distress look. Now I got this table runner, super cute, like what? Drop cloth color table runner for $1.99, brand new, but I'm going to cut it up. At the thrift store, this is why people I love the thrift stores go to your thrift stores. So now I'm just going to measure the size I need and what I want exactly. Take it, bend it over, and cut it. Super simple. I love putting the thrift flip pieces together. Love it. It's one of my favorite things. So I'm just going to lay it out again, as you can see, right there. And cut off the sides because they hang over. You won't be able to see it anyway. So I have to trim both sides. I know you're like, why are you ruining that table runner? Because this is what I wanted to use it for. <laughs> so now I'm just like, hmm, okay. So I have these transfers redesigned again. I'll leave the link down below. I can't remember the name of this one, but I'll leave it down below. The hardest part is deciding which ones you want to use on what projects and how many, right? That's the hardest decision. Other than that, these are super simple. I lay my frame or cupboard down so I can center it. I decide to go with this one, the farmhouse with the little barn, love it, and the cow. Like, hmm, where am I gonna lay these? Hmm, I need more. Let's use another one. 
and I still have like a page and a half left. These are a great buy for $14. I'm telling you, love them. Super easy to put on fabric. I've seen other people do this. I've had these ready to do for a while. The only suggestion I would say is if you're doing this to maybe put something a little harder underneath on your fabric, it would make it the process a little bit more simple. But you do the same thing, keep using your tool until everything comes clear and comes up. And there you have it. Super cute. I love it on fabric. I'm gonna do more of it. I love that cow, isn't it super cute? And you can design it any way you want. Look at that. Oh, and if you miss a piece, just lay it back down and rub on the piece that you missed. Did that make sense? I hope it did. There you go. Look how cute. And then I'm like, hmm, nope, needs a little something, something more. So it says, welcome home. It's in red. I love it. And this part was easier. So you just want to go around. I go around the edges. Just makes it easier. And then I go into the center so the edges rub off. And I peel it off slowly to make sure everything comes off. Super simple. Buy these transfers, people. They are so cute. I'm in love. I'm addicted to the transfers. Now I'm flipping over this cupboard board that I'm using now as a picture frame. Just making sure I have the measurements right because, you know, this girl's messed up a time or two. But they have these pieces sticking out. I'm like, mm-mm, that won't work. So I unscrewed them, removed them, laid down my fabric or table runner again. I'm going to use my little stapler or a big stapler and you'll see a little bit of a shaky shake, but I want to show you what I did, so go with it. <laughs> So you're just going to staple around. I won't show you all of it because you'll be shaking and you'll be like sick and you're like, girl, what are you doing? So you staple all around till it's tight. And then I use my hammer just to pound them in a little bit more to make sure they're secure and good. Cut off the excess. That's what I want to do. No one's going to see it anyway. Then I have one of these sawtooth hooks that I get at my local hardware store. Love them. Put it in and wow, look at that. Super cute, love this. This also will go in my new home in my kitchen. Let me know what you think down below. You're all my heart knew, but that's all I held on to but you. All right guys, Thrift Flip DIY number three. I got this box for 99 cents at my Goodwill and of course I picked it up. I also got a goodie bag with a whole bunch of different pieces that I'm using here for $1.99, but you can get them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I got this ribbon in a bundle of two for $5 or less at a thrift store, and they're big bundles. Got my antique Waverly wax. Gotta take that sticker off, of course. And yes, I'm using those little pieces as legs. Just get creative. It's nothing new. You've seen these kind of items before but how we do it is different and the design we come up with which is inspiring right that's what I hope to do is inspire you so anyway I'm gonna use my gorilla glue hot glue glue on those legs before I paint it makes it easier so just remember that I've done it the other way and it's a lot harder so it doesn't stick as well put that little knob on as a handle and of course this girl's just going to dunk her little baby wipe right into my lid of my antique Waverly wax. You want to get all over inside, outside, sides, back, bottom, top, all of it. You could choose a different color if you like. You can make it lighter or darker or leave the natural you decide. You be you. I love this color so I use it. This is also going to go in my room in my new home. Super excited. More videos on that will be coming when I get it. <laughs> so anyway, about that ribbon, I made a really cute lampshade. Redid a lampshade from the thrift store. So cute. I painted a lamp. Love it. So once you're done with that, when I ever get done, if I get done, we're going to use our little friend, the heat tool. That link is down below as well. This is so simple, guys. I'm just going to take it around the center of this box just to give it a little some, some, you know, a little decoration. Make it a little boho to put on my nightstand and put like rings or little treasures in it. 
super cute. So you're gonna use your hot glue just to glue this on. Wait till it dries or it's not gonna glue on as well. Just a little FYI because I've done it before, right? And then I'm like, hmm, wait, what am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, put that on. Oh, wait, it's a little hot. Oh, oh yeah, glue fingers. Let me get those. That's me for you. And I'll forget again. You just keep watching. Not very good about that. So I just glue on the top. You don't want to do too much because you don't want it to seep through, obviously. So put it on the seam. And watch, here I go. I'm like, oh, oh, hot. Wait, where's my glue finger? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's real. That's just who I am. Just go with it. You can be a little smarter than me. It's all right. I'm okay with it. Just keep the glue finger on your finger. There we go. I got it. Now, of course, you just cut off the excess. And save it, because I'll use it for something. Now, I got these redesigned transfers at my local store. So cute. They will be linked down below as well. And I just love this piece, so that's what I'm going to use. Of course, you want to lay it out, make sure it fits, cut it, lay it down, all the obvious stuff. There are so many to choose from, these little packs that are like $14. And they now come with that little handy-dandy tool where before it didn't. Pull up your sleeves, get to work, girl, rub this little transfer on. What I love about these transfers is they will bend over the edge. So see how I'm doing that there? So the antlers will go around the edge and it's so easy. And if you miss a spot, like I've said before, lay it back down, use your little tool, rub a little harder, and then pull it up and you have a different thrift find. Love it. It is totally you. Do it how you want. Go to the thrift store, people. They have great things. Look how cute. This is going to look so cute on my nightstand to put my rings, my jewelry, or whatever I decide in. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you have used these transfers. And you all have a good day. As easy as that when two souls meet. We said I do for worse or better. Promise to hold on forever. But you.